following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling a problem with us. Uh, we have the Dow Industrials down 50, Nasdaq off 73, S&P's off 9.5, gold contract up $11.30, trading at 1322 an ounce. We get silver up 18 cents, $14.75 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 37 cents, $53.87 a barrel. Now, crude got down, I think, to 71 this morning. This is quite a Sorry, move. 71. Too. I mean, uh, 51 this okay. morning. Uh, yeah, well, 52.11. Okay. And this is quite a move, folks. Cool. And uh, bottom line is that it's not holding price at its highs either. So I suspect crude, man, <laughs> this has been quite a move, man. That's for sure. Um, you know, and it should have picked up some, you know, support at this 52, which it did. Yeah. Uh, we'll see where the baby shakes out. Hey, it's up almost two bucks from that, so right. that's a pretty decent bounce, yeah. Notes and bonds, higher price, lower yield. 10-year uh, note up 9 ticks, 126.21. 30-year bond up 19 ticks, 154.31. And king dollar, king dollar down 216 ticks, trading 96.920. The euro is at 112 to 1 U.S. dollar. The yen is at 108 and a third to 1 U.S. dollar. And the pound is at 126 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? Now, I heard the update. We got to go see what the world is going on at the NDX 100 because that was quite a move on the way down. I was going to say, I know one of them. Yeah, that's, and that's it looks like Google, that. Google's forcing it, no doubt. Yeah. Google's down 6.3 percent. If you look at Google, folks, okay. Bottom line, um, you know they got this is about uh, antitrust. Um, the stock gaps lower today. Gaps. Opens at 1065, it's a 1033. Now this is what you want to wrap your head around. We are already at the, into the highs of the lows of uh, December, you know? Yeah. So we hit the, uh, that's the 139 bottom line. This is game. This is where the S&P wants to go too, man. So this is gonna be really interesting watching this thing shake out. That was a fast move, um, big number. Uh, inside also the NDX, let's see the strength out here is uh, AMD. Uh, Advanced Micro is up 7.4%. Uh, this thing's wild, isn't it? Definitely. I mean, this thing is always at the top of the most volume, folks. And it's either like down or up $2 like in a heartbeat. And it's just challenging. Uh, you know, had some strength last week. That's uh, strength at uh, 29.66. The uh, NXPI is up 3%. Uh, Amgen's up 4%. Maximum Integrate is up 2 uh, Downtown. Uh, you get Workday down 4%, and Facebook is also off 4%. That's quite a hit in foot, Facebook, That is. Too. I was waiting to see what's going on there. Yeah. So that's, yeah, it's going to be an ABC down. It's breaking. The, you, you get your B point laying out here at 4.4 million. There's already 1.9 million. You know, your, your A is, uh, what, 198 approximately. You get, look at that. You get 20 bucks. So 166. Well, we're already, we're already at, yeah, we're already at 170. What's going on with the news for them? Can I see yeah. if there's anything in particular? Ah, so maybe... Uh, Must proceed with privacy breach suit. They got a lot going on there. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I see Facebook's there's, meeting with regulators. There's um, no doubt. Yeah. Uh, gold. Gold contract, folks. Bottom line, uh, you know, it's, it's caught a nice bid. You... Uh, you're up 1120. You got 195,000 contracts traded. You know, when we were here last week. You could see that you know gold peaked its head up, broke the downtrend, and now you you basically you you move with conviction. That's oh, it. That's I'd say so. That's, Three days we're up what 45 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. And now you get game out here to 1361. Yeah. The um, notes and bonds, man. This is I know, just, right? 2.07 on the 10 year. Watch out. Really? Yes. Wow. That was at about 5 a.m. this morning, okay. so it was down. Um, That's and we're cool. sitting at about 2.10 right now, I believe. Yeah, 2. Point, um, yeah. Two, two point. So it's interesting that this pulls the, the low here because if you pull up the, 
uh, the 10 year graph that we pull up. Maybe it's I have it still on one of these. Let's see. There it is. Um, so there's your 10 year, yeah. right? And you can see the spike uh, 2.0693. Right. 2 so they haven't picked that up yet. Yeah, right. Um, exactly. So I wonder how that calculates whether it's. Uh, I know. What time's the open for the pit? Maybe the. the the opens. I'm not sure. Either no, way. I'm with you. I'm with you. Because right, even right. it even traded below 2.10. Actually, if you look at it uh, at 10 o'clock, right? 2.0934. And you know the way this is set up right now, folks. Okay, game is on the table now for 1.73. Uh, this is quite a conviction move, man. <laughs> you know, here we are. You know, we're basically almost there. Yes. The, the two point. Well, we were at the top of the two, two point one six. The bottom is 2.01. It's quite a bar. These are weekly. It, yeah. it is. And so it's like, hey, there's no no reason you can't get down to the beginning of the strength, which is two point uh, 1.71. That, that was quite a week of the election of 16. <laughs> Looking at the, almost at a half of a uh, point from 1.71 to right. 2.15. Right. Almost half a percentage in a week. No, don't doubt. The tenure. And if we uh, go over to FedEx, it's just you want to see the opposite. So FedEx is getting slammed this morning. Uh, it's not that bad now, right? Yeah. No, it What's, did. It pulled I, back. I pulled it up uh, on the thinkorswim. We can jump over because yeah. you can see it rebound from where it was on the lows. Now, here's, here's another indication, folks, that you're going to December 26th. FedEx, 151.88. The low is 150.94. The high is 160 of that last low. So you, you really got to pay attention to that. You know, slowly down the market creeps. And uh, these companies evidently are going to really get uh, hurt. Yeah, as in, I, in my opinion, FedEx and Google have some unique um, obstacles in terms of Google with the antitrust man, and right. FedEx uh, is looks like going to be a pawn Shipping. in the, in the yeah. trade war. Right, um, right. And then what you had, you know, you had Blackstone, folks. Blackstone, let's see if I, yeah, here it is right here. Blackstone got in the middle of a bidding war, okay. and uh, it looks like they got the deal. Uh, they bet $18.7 billion, uh, and they, I think it's 3100 Properties. So let's see. So 179 million square feet of urban logistics properties. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Amazon's their biggest client. Okay. Um, let's see. So it's almost gonna double what they had. Yeah. I mean, this is a this is a big move, man. Maybe right there, more than 100 where warehouse at, and now that's a double another one. Yeah. The bottom line is that they're they're out there, and you know this this they bought this off a Singapore company. Okay. Um, they were going to, the Singapore company. Yeah, 1,300 maybe properties? Yeah, that's, yes. Okay, was, yeah. and counts Amazon and Whirlpool as the biggest tenants. Right. Uh, they got FedEx, Home Depot, L'Oreal. Yeah, big numbers. Yes, Starbucks, Tesla, they get the whole, the whole kit and caboodle. Look at that, huh? Yeah. Seems like it'd be remarkable that Amazon wasn't in there competing as well. I know. Yeah, but. I know. They, they got enough to be spending their money on right now. I guess it. It, it's, yeah, it, it's really intriguing, actually, that, yeah. you know. Maybe Amazon's, they're so nimble with their logistics, right? I mean, maybe they're, they're, it's not it's not hip to lock yourself into that kind of warehouse space because maybe they don't need that kind of warehouse space, right? We just saw. What did they just do? They just said we're not going to be taking uh, right. orders from small clients. Right. We're not going to be storing them anymore. Right. So Imagine that. Yeah, right? Ooh. I mean, if you had bought all that warehouse, Ooh. you said, oh, no. Nope. That's, that's really intriguing. Now man. you're going to have to deal with uh, the mom and pop and, and get their warehouse space. It's scary having a big client like that, actually. It's good and it's scary. Yes. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials down nine. Nasdaq is off 56. SBs are off four and a half. Come right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up five. Nasdaq's down 50. S&P's are uh, down two and a half. And, uh, you know, what did happen on Friday, folks, this is pretty wild watching this. I'm going to bring up the volume. And we were watching this volume coming into the close on Friday. And even at five past four, we didn't have a billion. We were still at like 800 million. So they did throw some volume in at the close in the nyse that'll be the final day of the month right usually there's some uh, yeah. always accelerated volume final right. day of the month well, that, well that's what we we're looking for because we're particularly looking for is it is it going to be a portfolio like they sold off on on tuesday and that's what made you tuesday know? so interesting right. because right because it's, it's kind of to be expected on friday yeah. tuesday yeah different different scenario for sure and in the NY, that's in the NYSA. In the uh, NASDAQ composite, you did have volume as we went to lower sure. price. But, but you had it steadily. That's, that's my point, not okay. just in at the close. 2.2 uh, uh, inside the uh, composite. And you can see the composite out here uh, today is uh, basically having a tough time also. And that would make sense with uh, Google. And Facebook, right? Yeah, yeah the and two Facebook, of them. Exactly. And yeah, whatever's exactly. going on on Facebook, 4%, man. Watch out. You know, let's yep. go uh, take a look at Apple out here. So, One more time. So Apple's flat. That's not helping anything. And this looks like it's setting up another ABC down. Look at the, the little pop. No volume whatsoever. Light volume. I'd be a little bit worried about Apple in terms of Ooh. China retaliation with FedEx getting um, Waking up a wake-up call this morning oh, totally. that Apple is, uh, yeah. they're like, you know, the they could be the major target as in maybe China saving them to hit it, you know, as oh, yeah. in there's no, right. no bigger company to target. So it's it's right. only a question whether China does it now or at some point, I think. Right. We get over into the gold market, folks. Um, you know, bottom line, gold caught a nice bid. You got uh, XAU, HUI, they also caught a nice bid off the bottom. It's pretty wild when they do catch a bid. <laughs> it's like, you know, th three days you go from, uh, what, 66 to 71, 69. Oh, yeah. It's been quite a moving gold for sure. Yeah, that's the XAU. If we take a look at the gold bugs index, that just went from uh, 147 to 161. Yeah. Same deal. Oh, you know, big we, time, right? you, you get. And what's going to get intriguing here inside of that market in general is... You know, you, you, 
fundamentally, you got rates going down, so that should, you know, get a keep a bid in gold. Um, it's going to be this dollar. You know, can the dollar uh, bottom line get any volume on the way down? Um, TX. What has happened? Doesn't even look at TX. T T Y. No. Uh, Yeah, just let me just do that. So the the dollar, where are we? DX. Oh, DXU, right? DXU, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that's the wrong one. DXU, yeah. Okay, so what we've had continually is that that dollar. Well, it's only seven twenty. That means we're not on that contract either. One second, sorry. Okay. okay. That's not going to be the DX N9. So it's still on the N. That's a... No, no. Is that what it says? No. 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 You just type in the dollar, you can go to the current contract. That's what I was. Thinking. Yeah, it's not coming up. Though. See? Interesting. Okay, we'll just go to the uh, Q. Uh... I don't think that's going to do it either, sorry. No, it's not. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. We just type the dollar. Well, here I'll do yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Way. So this is this the dollar here. Um, you know, now this is the DXY. This is what I normally don't bring up. Um, they're throwing they're Peter in the dent saying DXM maybe. Oh, thank you. Let's try that DXM. There we go. Okay. Okay. Cool. So. Thanks, Peter. So we're in the that's, yeah the June contract still. So what we've had, folks, is that every time that you get over this high, you know we've come up to the high. You get light volume, and just like, like on Friday, you come down and you had some volume on the way down, and then the volume just seems to dry up immediately. So we'll see whether you get any follow through. You know, you get eleven thousand contracts today, which is a lot of contract volume uh, for yeah. this early. You right. know, um, you know if you get a couple of days of this, then that doll is going to get a shot to get out to the 94 area. You know, it's, it hasn't broken its uptrend yet. There's no doubt about that. Um, and we'll see where that uh, shakes out. The note and bond market, uh, let's just bring this up. This, I'm curious as to what the Fed fund future, how much, look at how much, okay. So on Friday, this for September, that was at 68%. Okay. And what I'm looking at, folks, if you're watching Tiger TV, if you're not watching Tiger TV, you're in your car in Portland, coming down that beautiful coast of yours, it's an 86% probability that the Federal Reserve will cut rates a quarter percent at the September 18th meeting. And now July went over 50, 51%. That's <laughs> pretty amazing. Look at October, it's at 92%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's... That thing has moved. It sure is. You know, and we've seen these. They move quite a bit. I mean, you know, I wouldn't want to be trading off of these. I can tell you that. But um, that's saying that yes, well, the, the market is already saying that, the, you know, the market has already brought the rates down. Now the question is, is this going to force the Fed's hand to actually bring the rate down? And to break it down even a little bit further, so 86 remarkable by September, right? Definitely yeah. pricing in huge chances of a right. cut by then. 51% by July, right? I know. Now, when you get into it, though, of that 86% chance, say, in a cut, yeah. there's actually almost a 34% chance that you're looking at two cuts right. by September. By September. That's it, yeah. Of that's that 86, because yeah, I mean, right. you're only looking at a 47% chance, actually, of one cut, a 33% chance of a two cut, um, which is remarkable that by that point. It evens out a little bit, as you can see. Um, but you want to really get into some numbers, man. By December, 32% chance of three cuts. Watch out. Yeah, I don't think by that that's... By December. By December, because I these know. are, you know, this is the one-cut column. Yeah. This is the two-cut column. Yeah. This is the three-cut column. And you can see that, I mean, as remarkable by September, they're putting 5%. It's an outlier, but the three cuts, almost 20% by October, and then you almost get basically a one out of three. Um, and so really what these are saying, you add up these two columns, and that's the probability of at least two cuts. And you right. really start getting to a two-to-one favorite, where it's, you know, 66% square on the dot by December. That you're getting two cuts, um, which is why it's almost 97 that at least one. Yeah. Big numbers. Big numbers, folks. No, no two ways about that. And the, uh, you know, we'll see where uh, it's going to take some of these uh, equities. But some of these equities, uh, uh, you know, as FedEx, they're, they're going to be in tough shape. I mean, 
Oh, we're on something. Okay. Yeah, let's look at that. <laughs> nope. Oh, so. so if we go look at this composite, so the composite right now is trading, okay, Feb at the February level. Interesting. Okay, so we're at the February level. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll see uh, if this thing can basically get any type of support whatsoever. I mean, when we go back here, you know, it's May's been a one-way route, a way down. Yes. And, you know, the way that the numbers are coming and the TAFs are coming, these S&P 500s are going to have a hard time making any money. I keep you know? saying it. we got election season coming, man. That's not going to calm markets no. as we get into debates, as we get into, uh, you know, uncertainty. And That's what, really what and uncertainty. It's, it's a lot easier putting them on than taking them off. That's, that's what it comes down to. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials are up. 81, NASDAQ is down 33, S&Ps are up 6. That was quite a move in the Dow, huh? It's bouncing around a little bit. Yeah. So Back to positive territory. Let's go take a look. So you got a low out here of 24,701, and you're up, uh, what, 180? Um, yeah, yeah, almost 200 points from there. So uh, let's go inside the Dow as to what we get for the uh, movers out here. Putting points into it. 
The Chevron's putting 12 points. Positive, Apple 10. United Technology 10. Caterpillar 10. Uh, taken away from it, Boeing minus 42. United Health minus 15. Yeah. You know, that's not that much for, but, you know, it's spread, spread across. It is. Between Boeing and United Health, about 60 negative points. Besides that, there's only a few companies in the negative. Right. And so Boeing's got a little more negative news out here this morning. Doesn't stop. Doesn't seem like it's really no. affecting the stock that much, Let's though. Let's see. 337. Now, that's going to get interesting because we can do 7.7 .7 million. If you do 7.7 .7 million, it's going to be another ABC down today. They get a problem with their wings on the 737, correct? Yeah, Not just yes. the 737 Max either. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. 383, yeah. 384. That's 50 bucks almost, 45 bucks, which will get you 315. Okay, so let's see what they're saying. Third one, I think. Third one. Cracking. Um, airlines worldwide must expect 312 of the Boeing 737s family of aircraft, including some of the grounded 737 MAX, because they have wing components that are prone to cracking, must be repaired within 10 days, U.S. Aviation regulator said Sunday. Huh? That's a lot of repairs in 10 days, 312 uh, 737s. Yep. No, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Uh, Boeing informed the Federal Aviation Administration that so-called leading-edge slack tracks may have been properly, may have not have been properly manufactured and posed a safety risk. The, AG said in an email statement, the parts allow the wing to expand to create more lift during takeoff and landing. Man, that's the last Seems thing. Seems like an important part. That's the last thing that... Uh, the wing. Yeah. Pretty sure you want the wing working correctly. Yeah, slightly. Slightly. Yeah. Let's get over and take a look at those S&Ps. So the S&Ps also did a nice little pop out here. And I believe that they... Okay, so we're bringing this back. Yeah, so they had been up at this level earlier. Yeah, right before the open. Right? I see. Yeah. Right before the open. So 27.59 is the number. You know, you're at 27.60 right now. We'll see whether yeah. it can basically handle it. You know, now what you have here, folks, this is going to be cool watching this shake out because what we have is that at 10 o'clock, that's a, a high volume uh, low bar. And most times what you're going to see uh, is that that's going to be tested. You know, so this is going to, this is going to be challenging uh, all day here. Let me go pull up the NQs. Look at that. They don't, the NQs just don't have. No, that's where you're really seeing, I think, just Oof. Facebook and Google alone. Look at that. Because I don't think you've seen Google reclaim um, right. from their open where they're at. And that has, that, that high, that's a high volume low, yeah, 7,028 also. So, NDX 100, folks, is great at bringing markets up and down. And in this particular case, uh, there's going to have to be a savior in there for Google. Uh, yeah, you can see almost Particularly because this is what's really crazy. So, so watch how this works. See how this Google, because Google has two equities inside the NDX 100, it's even worse. <laughs> Waiting wise. You know, they, they have the, uh, the GL, which yes. is the voting one, I believe. I know they're two both mammoth weightings, of yes, course, but, uh, right. but I think they probably combined to be a appropriate weighting, I would assume. I guess it depends Before, well, on... We could just pull it up. Yeah, what appropriate means, because like just like with Apple, Apple at one point was 14.5% of the NDX 100, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, but that's going to be a problem for... No doubt, the NDX kind of all day long. And Can you go back to the description before you jump away? I just yeah. want to see how the NDX... Is it cap-weighted? Uh, modified cap weight. Okay, so a little bit of a tweak, but yeah, much more appropriate than the Dow, right? Price yeah, weighted for sure. I mean, so for sure. So I say, I mean, so you get a the NDX 100's modified capital weighted index of 100 largest and most active non-financial, domestic, and international issues listed okay. on the Nasdaq. Um, and no one can be more than 24 percent. Yeah, imagine the 24 percent. Yeah. Hey, when you get, I mean, you know, comparing it, comparing Apple. To the number 100th market cap stock in there, um, you better believe Apple's going to have an impact more than whatever those smaller cap companies are in there. Right, right. So bookings.com, let's put in, that's up $19. Not bad. Yeah, look at where it's from, though. Yeah. Down from 
Now, here, like, so here's another one. This is pretty wild. And a couple of the Tigers would give me a bunch of other equities that are already down at December 26th. That's that's down there too. You know, we hit yeah. uh, what 1658. The low is 1616. The top, the high is 1648. I think it's 1608. I saw over there. The low. Oh. Yeah, sixteen oh eight, and the high sixteen forty eight. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this is going to be uh, some volatility over there. Yeah, and and oh, I know one of the I saw a couple platinum. Okay, so platinum evidently is on the move. About time if it is. Let's see, seventeen dollars. Yeah, at least to come off the bottom. You know, saved itself instead of jumping over. <laughs> Jumping off the cliff. Yeah. This is down from uh, 920 or at 812. Yeah. We'll see whether it can basically get some follow through. And how about Bitcoin? Still holding oh, steady about 84, 8,500. Always interested. Come in over the weekend, see yeah. what happened. And we've had a couple, uh, as in it's been holding, if yeah. not higher. Look at that. Yeah. All right. Now that that looks, it looks to me like 10,000 is on the agenda here. You know, Quite a chart. There's not much in between that and. That those lows is that ten thousand up now? That's actually eleven thousand. Yeah. yeah. That's eighty eighty two hundred. You're already over that. Yeah. yeah. This is gonna this is crawling up here somewhere, man. Oh yeah. It's uh new territory up there, man. Didn't take long. No. Nope. You know, once once it came off the bottom it actually didn't take long uh, at all. The uh let's go take a look at the uh oh, the car companies. So GM got smoked on Friday. Um, you know, because yep. they, they have a lot of plants in te in Mexico. and A lot of car companies do. Yep, and GM's all the way also back to this December level. And, you know, we'll see what it can hold. You know, it has support here, so, you know, 30, 32, somewhere in between this 32 and 31 area. Put this on. Actually, you know what's so cool? Now we can put these on monthlies. Yeah, it's at the bottom of the range. Yeah, see. that was a tough month for yeah. GM, for the car companies. Look at that. Tough end to the month. 30, 39 to 33. Yeah, huge. No doubt. Big, big number. Big number out there. Uh, if we go over, let's go take a look at the Europe. So the DAX. Okay, the, so the DAX rejected lower price out here this morning. The FTSE. That also rejected lower price. Yeah, you might get a little bounce out there. So it's looking like. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow Industrials trading up 93. Nasdaq down 36. S&P's up seven and a half. Come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 105. We get the NASDAQ down 28. S&Ps are up 8.5. And, and so check this out, folks. This is uh, just Tesla. This is quite a story. Um, Top one. Yeah, or that one. Yeah, so for years, Tesla has hauled in revenue by selling credits to other car companies that needed to offset sales of pollutant vehicles in the United States to U.S. consumers. General Motors and Fiat disclosed to the state of Delaware earlier this year that they reached agreements to buy federal greenhouse gas credits from Tesla. While, while the findings are light on detail, they haven't been reported on previously. Uh, they also represent the first acknowledgement from car makers that they are turning to Tesla to help to comply with the intensifying U.S. environmental regulations. Now, what's intriguing inside of this, folks, is that, you know, you do have GM. They make hybrids, Okay. And what they're saying here is that, uh, you know, uh, the deal with GM will come as a surprise to those who thought years of sales of plug-in hybrid Chevy Volts and all-electric Chevy Bolts, Volts and Bolts, That's right. uh, would leave the U.S. car maker uh, in the clear with regard to regulated compliance. But while those sales of the models have put GM in a position where it doesn't need extra credits today, demand for its battery-powered vehicles uh, are dwarfed by its gas guzzling trucks yeah. and SUVs. Dwarfed, yeah. So what they're doing, they're banking these now. They have, they have, they're basically buying them and banking them. But watch the number, folks. This is quite a number that Tesla has taken in. They've, uh, was it 2010 that we got? Yes. Yeah, since 2010, they've taken in $2 billion by selling credits. There you go, under the hall, yeah. $2 billion in revenue from selling regulatory credits since 2010. Uh, it's home state of California has a mandate that requires car makers to sell zero emissions vehicles, or ZEVs, in proportion to their share of the state's auto market, which is the largest in the country. And if they don't sell enough, then they have to purchase credits. Um, yeah, so GM's credit purchases illustrate how challenging the U.S. fuel efficiency requirements are getting, even for automakers that are adding more zero emission vehicles. But in the same essence, man, people just love SUVs. They love trucks. Oh, totally. So it, it's, it, this article makes it out to be like, you're not going to believe that all these car companies are selling cars that still eat a lot of gas and they're big. It's like, yeah. no, I, I believe that. I mean, totally. I, do, you, do you look around at the roads? Uh, yeah. I mean, we're not even producing sedans anymore, right? You see the articles in terms it's, of, like, car companies. It's either a crossover, right. you know, vehicle. Right. It's a SUV. It's a, it's a truck. Um, the, the, the days of the Ford Taurus wagon being the best-selling sedan um, car in America are far, far from where we're at right now. No doubt. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we'll bring up gasoline. Uh, and you're going to see, you know, gas is getting less expensive. You know, we just came down from uh, 206 unleaded wholesale. We're at 176. Let's go. Well, this, i got to bring up a continuous contract on this. XB... XB1. Yeah. You see generic right there? Right yeah. Now? Yeah. Look at this. These are just one way moves. So like, we'll, yeah. we'll see where it shakes out. It, 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 we should we get... back it up even a little bit further, though, because yeah. gas prices were everything put yeah. on like a 
or yeah, well, that'll really do it. Yeah, in terms of you know, that that normal we had from ten to fourteen before we got it down, um, as in you had wholesale at almost three fifty for a while, man. I know. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. You know, we so we had a peak out there, folks, in uh, 08 of three sixty three wholesale. Yep. Crashed and to seventy eight cents. Yep. Seventy eight cents. I know a lot of things crashed then, as we know. Uh, all the way back up to three forty eight. Now we stayed in the threes from uh, what's yeah. that twenty? Yeah, twenty eleven to twenty fourteen. Yeah. And not much since then. No, that's why yeah. you know it, it, we're back near the highs, but we're we're okay as in this lower range still. If yeah. we're uh, sitting under two hundred. Two bucks, something yeah. like that. Yeah, so yeah. that's 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 car credits. There's a lot of moving parts in that thing, man. So yeah. let's just go look at Tesla for a second because this is an equity that's in trouble too. Yeah, look at this, man. Whoa. Yeah. This is just getting sliced on a slow basis. Well, it's slowed well, it's down not lately. Too slow. It was pretty quick <laughs> in the beginning, I think, if you were a shareholder. Yeah, no, there's no there's no doubt about that. So Look at this is it's a very dangerous place right now, oh, folks, definitely. because you 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 have you go all the way back to February of twenty fourteen. Almost everyone is in a losing position, you know, from that. And it should hold here for a bit. And so if it doesn't hold, then it's big trouble in paradise. Because then guess what? Then your next leg is forty bucks. Like really? <laughs> well, it is. Yeah, they got they got you get some competition in the next couple of years. It's time to put up. That is a big number. Yeah. That is one big number. Um, How about the world rates? Can we jump around? Yeah. Because as we hit that oh. 2.07 this Seriously. morning, what are we sitting at now? 2.10, something, uh, 2.12. We're getting yeah. a little bit of a pop. 2.12. You can see Germany's in negative. Now it's 19 uh, one hundredths of one, minus 19. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, well, Netherlands is in. Now, watch that. That's the 10. I think it's the, is it the fives that everything goes in negative. Yeah, look at this. When you put it at the five year, folks, right? Like France is in negative rates, Germany's in negative rates, Spain's in negative rates, Portugal's in negative rates. Yeah. Sweden, Netherlands, Switzerland. Yeah. yeah. The only one in that Europe group is Greece with right. 1.6, Italy 1.8, and the UK 0.6 for a positive. Isn't that wild? Yeah. And then forget the two-year rates. Let's see. This is going to be. You give people your money for two years in Europe, you're paying up big time. Paying up for five years, too. Yes. It's low rates are coming at us. And what you are going to see is that uh, we'll see a bunch of refinances in the, in the real estate market, too, because now we we're talking. We half a percent. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no and uh, you know what had, it did happen is that I was looking at the. Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac rates on Friday, they broke 4%. Okay. It was 3.99. That would make sense. Yeah. yeah. You know, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a big number, folks. You Let's know. put this on the 30 year even as we uh, see what they're putting. Yeah. yeah. 2.5. Yeah. 30 year treasury. Yeah. You know, so you can see 3.99 is, uh, and you know, what, what does happen, folks, is that inside the mortgage market, there, the average. You know, when you when you take everything put together, normally those loans don't stay out more than seven years. Okay. You know, so what's going on in the mortgage market right now, though, right, is that if you and I had bought the mortgages, right, we are bumming out beyond belief, because if you go back seven months ago, everyone thought rates were going to go up, and the last Sorry, thing if we bought as a consumer, who are you? No, no, if we no, bought the bonds, the, okay, if okay. we bought the Fannie yep, Mae, Freddie Mac yep, bonds, yep. right, the last thing we want is rates go down because then we paid more than. Oh, for sure. Principle-wise, right? yeah. they're going down, and then people refinancing, and our bonds get called. Okay. So we get you lose principal, and then you, it's like, oh no, because yeah. it, it's you know the bond market, folks, is you know it moves. Well, last week it moved really fast. Most of the time it moves slow, but because there's so much money involved, um, slow moves can absolutely take you out. And in this particular case, uh, some of these bond investors can have some. Uh, losses that's for sure just on the refinance yes dow industrials up 68 nasdaq down 38 yeah that's right that's that the fees are up five come right back
I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by sign up today since 1984 basil chapman has been using the chapman wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion while originally hand drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply later basil found that computer software which included the standard market technical indicators enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns as well as market trend calls thus was born the chapman wave sequence using the chapman wave methodology along with other indicators basil chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call basil's daily trading newsletter by visiting the front page of tfnn.com can't at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrial is up 76. Nasdaq's down 34. S&P's are off, uh, is up six and a half. And yeah, this is, I uh, haven't heard of these guys for a while, but yeah. this is a big name that's going B BK. FTD, right? So yeah. flower delivery. Uh, looks like that they uh, filed bankruptcy, selling the assets, and things have just gone downhill, it seems, since we fast forward a little bit. Now, interesting tidbits, 872 full and part-time employees. Yeah. And they pretty much just a uh, technology company subbing out those orders to local flower shops right. um, at a hefty premium of price, which I think consumers have figured out. Uh, so they bought Pro Flowers in 2014 for $400 million, But the company struggled to integrate the two businesses, and $120 million of debt that it took on to fund the acquisition became increasingly burdensome. Um, and they just go over liquidity, Big liquidity mistake. evaporated, yeah. falling sales. I guess they missed uh, for Valentine's Day. They were hoping this year that would give them some cash, liquidity, pay off some of the debt. Nope. They also had a tough Mother's Day they went into. Um, so nonetheless, out of business, man. And uh, wow. Yeah. Significantly missed their 2019 Mother's Day forecast, pushing the company into bankruptcy. Um, yeah. It's a tough, uh, you know. And I've looked on there before. I think I've purchased things on there before going back, and it's a hefty premium, man, just versus calling your local flower shop or Is something it? like that. Hefty, hefty, hefty premium. Yes. See, so in the age of information, that information is 
that powerful, which is great. The other side, yeah. which always amazes me, because I've called local flower shops, whether yeah. it's, you know, up in Boston, right? right. Um, and on like a Valentine's Day or even a Mother's Day, I can't remember the last time I called, they're, they're busy and they can't do any more same day orders. I'm always flabbergasted that they can't handle. And I know it must be an obscene amount of inventory, right. but it's like one day you're going to do business to turn away orders. I'm always like, how do you? Right. Anyway. No doubt. Interesting. Listen, folks, stay right there. We get Fast Market coming up next. And we get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. We'll be back inside. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Well, go get him, folks.